Welcome to Sweet Red Poppy. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make two different styles of a gator face mask. This pattern features a filter pocket and a nose bridge pocket for an extra secure fit. So many of you have requested an alternative to quilting cotton face masks, and this is a really great option. It's easy to make, it's incredibly comfortable, and it can be reused in a variety of different ways. There are actually six different ways that you can wear this protective neck gaiter face mask, so it's sure to get plenty of use even after you use it as a mask. First off, it can be worn as a scarf. It can be pulled up into a mask. It can then be pulled again to a headband or pulled down as a hair bandana. It can also be wrapped around your wrist or even used as a ponytail holder. The best part about this mask is it's made from a knit fabric, which is extra soft and it makes it so comfortable. For this tutorial, you will need a sewing machine, four-way stretch fabric, about one half yard, jersey needle, scissors or a rotary cutter, thread, an iron and an ironing board, fabric tack, and a nose bridge. First, you'll want to begin by selecting the size of neck gaiter that you would like to make. For reference, personally, I usually choose the adult size for myself, but if you have a face that's on the smaller size, you'll probably want to downsize to the teen size. I recommend using a light to medium weight knit fabric with a content of about 95% cotton, 5% lycra, or spandex. You could also use a 95% rayon, 5% spandex, but you really need to have about 5% lycra or spandex because that's going to give your fabric some extra elasticity and help it to bounce back to its original shape without getting stretched out over time. So let's talk a little bit more about fabric. It's important for you to use a four-way stretch fabric for this project. It's essential that your fabric has at least 50% stretch. If you're not sure what that means, go ahead and take a four-inch piece of fabric and it should stretch to at least six inches. Your fabric must have both horizontal and vertical stretch. So when you're shopping, you can just look for a fabric that's labeled as a four-way stretch knit fabric. Make sure that you've pre-washed and dried your knit fabric before you cut into it or sew it. This is just going to prevent your fabric from shrinking after you've sewn it or from bleeding in the wash. When you're sewing your face mask, you want to use a stretch stitch on your sewing machine. This looks like a little lightning bolt and it allows your seams to have a little more give so your stitches don't pop when you stretch them out. If you don't have this option, you could use a zigzag stitch and just decrease the width of your zigzag stitch. You'll also want to use a jersey or a ballpoint needle if you have one. This is going to help your needle to pass in between the fibers instead of piercing them. Choose which style of mask you'd like to make first. You could choose one layer or you could choose two layers. Second, choose whether or not you would like to have a filter pocket for both a filter and a metal nose piece. Go ahead and download the pattern to your computer and print the pattern at 100% with no scaling. Immediately go ahead and check that one inch by one inch square just to ensure that your pattern has printed correctly. Now the pattern is numbered one through three. You want to align the circles and the black lines together as you're piecing the pattern together. You can feel free to trim off the excess from each piece of the pattern, or you can just hold the pieces up to the light and align your pieces together without needing to trim them. You want to lay your fabric out in front of you and fold it in half. Align the cut on the fold marking with the fold of the fabric and pin the pattern in place. The fabric should be folded in half with the greatest direction of stretch running across the width of the pattern. Let's start with the lined mask tutorial. Cut out your knit fabric using the provided pattern piece. You'll need two different pieces of fabric to create this lined mask. You'll also want to cut out your filter pocket. Place one mask with the right side of the fabric facing upwards on a flat surface. Find the center of your mask and go ahead and mark it. Align the filter pocket on top of the mask, making sure that it's completely centered. The raw edges of the fabric along the top of the mask should be aligned. Pin your filter pocket in place. And with a stretch stitch, you'll want to sew along the bottom of the filter pocket. This should be about one half inch from the edge of the fabric. Then you're going to go along and sew on the top of your filter pocket, about one inch from the raw edge of the top main fabric. 
place the masks right sides together and sew across both the top and the bottom of your mask. Again, you're using a stretch stitch. Turn the fabric inside of the tube so that the right sides are facing each other and align both of your seams. Pin everything into place and sew along the raw edge of the fabric with a stretch stitch, leaving about two to three inches of an opening for turning. Now it's time to pull your fabric through the hole and turn it right side out. It's time to close that opening. So you can hand stitch it or you could use fabric glue just to close that opening. Now you want to press all of your seams on your mask with plenty of steam and a really hot iron. What this is going to do is just shrink your fabric back into its original size because it can get a little bit stretched out while you're sewing it. Now you can slide a filter into your filter pocket and a nose piece into the top pocket. And now you're ready to wear your face mask. Now we're going to sew our unlined mask tutorial. So this is a little bit preferable for some because you'll find it's a little bit easier to breathe through than having a two layer mask. Go ahead and lay your fabric out in front of you and fold it in half. Align the cut on the fold marking with the fold of the fabric and pin your pattern in place. The fabric should be folded again with this greatest stretch running across the width of the pattern. Cut out your knit fabric using your provided pattern piece. You want to cut out one piece of fabric for the main mask and you'll also need one filter pocket. Place the main mask piece with the right side of the fabric facing downwards on a flat surface. Find the center of your mask and mark it. Now you want to align the filter pocket on top of the mask, making sure that it's centered. The filter pocket should be placed about one half inch down from the raw edge of your fabric. Go ahead and pin that filter pocket in place. With a stretch stitch, sew along the bottom of the filter pocket, three eighths of an inch from the edge of the fabric. Sew along the top of the filter pocket 1.5 inches from the raw edge of the main mask fabric. Fold the top and the bottom of the mask inwards one half inch with the wrong sides facing to create a hem and go ahead and press it. When I'm doing this, I really like to use a heavy starch and spray my material because it's gonna give me a little bit more control of my fabric. Sew along that folded edge of your fabric with a stretch stitch, securing the hem in place. Fold the mask in half with right sides facing together and sew along the raw edge with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Now don't forget to backstitch at the beginning and the ending. Turn your mask right side out. Press your seams on your mask with plenty of steam and a hot iron. This is just going to shrink everything back to its original size since it might have gotten stretched out while we were sewing. Now it's time to slide your filter into your filter pocket and you can slide your nose piece into the top pocket. Now you're ready to wear your brand new gator face mask. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial on gator masks. If you happen to find it helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and give it a share. If you're looking for even more crafting and sewing videos, don't forget to subscribe to Sweet Red Poppy for weekly crafting and sewing videos. I'll see you next week.